Today in math, we are going to be talking about story, stories to solve our problems. So before we get started, we're going to try to solve a problem, except normally we're used to seeing math problems like this. We have to find the difference, but today there might be different stories that have different numbers missing. So here the first number is missing. So when I subtract, what number <coughs> has to go first? First rate. The biggest number. The biggest number has to go first. Can I put this? No. Why not? Because it doesn't equal six. Yeah, five minus one does not equal six. So we can't go this way, like this. Does that make sense? That is wrong. I still have to read it left from right, like I always do, okay? So I have to come up with a different answer. Does anyone know? What minus one equals six? First grade? Seven! Great, you are exactly right. So, we are going to have to be very careful today with our story problems, okay? So, let's come up here and read our story. And it's also on your paper, so you can go ahead and get out your top colorful page. And let's read the problem, or the story, I guess I should say. <coughs> Thank you for doing that quickly and quietly. Okay, let's read. Kyle had 13 packs. He gave five hats to Jake. How many hats does Kyle have now? Should we circle important information? Yes! What is very important? The numbers. The numbers. What number should I circle? Thirteen. Thirteen and? Five. Five. And what are we trying to find? We're trying to find what Okay, not necessarily 13 minus 5, but we'll see, okay? Also, there's an important word in here that I see. I see the word gave. Do you see the word gave? Yes. What does gave mean? You gave some to the other person. So are we getting more or are we getting less? More. Yes. Less. It is going away. Is that an important word? So we are not adding, we are taking away. Okay? So, um, we are trying to find how many hats. Is that correct? Okay, so let's write hats. Was the whole story about hats? No. Yes. Yes. So we don't have to worry about having scarves or mittens or anything like that. It is hats. What numbers did it's we hats. circle? Five and thirteen. Five and thirteen. So let's write five and thirteen because are those important numbers? They are. Okay. Now, to help us with the number or the story, what should I or what could I use to help me? Counters. Counters on a on a ten frame. Good job. So raise your hand if you know how many we should start with first. Okay. Very good. Let's draw 13. Okay. 
to make it easier on ourselves, what am I going to do in the first step? Take away the last three. Thank you. I'm going to take away the last three. So go ahead and, and circle the last three and cross them out. So what are we going to draw in the second step? <coughs> ten. ten. So go ahead and draw your ten over here because that's what I have left from my first step. But did I want to cross out three? Only oh, no. no, I wanted to cross out five. So from three to five, is how many steps? Two, five. No. Look at three on your number line and look at five on your number line. And how many steps does it take to get from three to five? Two. Very good. So what am I going to do? Circle two. Circle two and cross them out. out. So, 13 minus 5 equals 8. Where did you get 8? Because it's on the ten. It's, it's on, on the 10 frame. It's on the 10 frame. I have 8 left. So my answer is Kyle has eight, eight cats now. Let's read our story. Heather has 14 crackers. Some crackers are broken. Eight crackers are not broken. How many crackers are broken? What should I circle? Fourteen and eight. Fourteen and eight. Okay. Those are important. But there are some other important words as well. What are one of my important words? No, that's not going to be important. Something that's going to change the story or how we do things. Some. Very good. Why is the word some important? Because we don't know how many be that are broken. We don't know, do we? No. Yeah, and broken is one of them too because... What happened? It's what happened to them. Okay. So, is sum a number? No. It is no. a number, but do we know what number? No. no. No, we don't know. But should we circle it? Yes. Yes, because it is very important. It says 14 crackers. Minus, because didn't some of them break? Yes. yes. But how many broke? Some. Some. We don't <coughs> know. So I'm going to put my box there because we don't, we don't, know, we how don't many. know how many. Okay. Some of them are broken. But then, how many do we have left that did eight. not break? Eight. So my difference is eight. So I'm trying to find what broke. Okay, how can I use my 10 frame to find out what broke? What am I going to do first? How many? Absolutely. Please draw 14 counters. Do we know how many broke? How many are we going to cross out? We don't know. We don't know, do we? But how many should stay left 
That is correct. There's one more way that I want to talk about on how we can check ourselves. We've talked about lots of great ways that we can check our work to make sure that we've done good math. What's the one more way that we've talked about that we can check to make sure that 14 minus 6 does equal 8? We talked about that already. Um, you could, you could do maybe a doubles minus two if not eight. You could do a doubles minus two, but that's not a strategy. I what about this? What about this? Can I use this? Yes. How can I use this? You could do it by following. Oh, so I can use my hundreds number chart to start at 14 and hop back how many? Six. And what number should I stop at? Eight. Okay, if it's true, right? So let's hop back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number did I end up stopping at? Fill this out down here from our story. 